Uh, D-Day for thousands of A-level students across the country today, so I think some restless sleeps last night. Mm. Uh, so, um, you know, I love how we say after two long years of revising... Well, hopefully. You don't understand. Sometimes they don't get the right result because they haven't revised. <laughs> See? Anyway, how was it for you today? Was it all happiness or doom and gloom? Right, here we have millionaire Kate Stewart. Kate is a tour de force, self-made millionaire. Um, exams weren't the be-all and end-all for her and she made her first million at 26 and that was after being expelled from school at what age? 15. 15. So, how <laughs> did you do it? How did you do it? How did you turn it around? Just by being cheeky. And having yeah. lots of confidence and just walking into situations and thinking, no one's better than me. I can do this. That's the attitude. Now, Kate is determined to help um, students and she headed back to the classroom as part of the new Channel 4 series, Secret Teacher. Uh, well, you've seen Kate alongside her today. One of the pupils from Parkwood Academy in Sheffield is Zane Ali. Yeah. Nice to see you both. And the reason you're here, Zane, is because this young man caught your eye, Kate. Didn't oh he? my God. Why? He, he didn't catch me. I, he took them away. <laughs> the entrepreneurial flair from him yeah. was just astronomical. I noticed them straight away and thought, he's the one for me. Yes, but never mind the, the entrepreneurial flair. The academic flair is what he's going to be judged on. And how are you doing or what are your prospects as regards e exams, Ian? Uh, right now, with exams, they, they were easy for me. They weren't difficult at all. I was going in smiling and I was coming out smiling even more. So this is GCSEs? Yeah, so you'll which you'll get next, next week. week. Yeah, I'll know next week. Will you still yeah. be How smiling would... next week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How okay. would you say that the staff... I mean, obviously, you didn't know about Kate. You thought she was a supply No, I actually teacher. genuinely thought that. Um, how would you say that the teachers and the head teacher would describe you as a student? I mean, like, how oh, bad was it? Uh, I, was, I was really, really terrible. Like, I was the worst student ever. This was year 10, but then year 11, I sort of turned it around. And when and you say worst student, what, in your academics or just generally your behaviour, everything? No, behaviour-wise, I was, I was terrible. Why? I don't know. I, I generally have no answer to that. Were you bored, maybe? Lessons were quite boring to yeah. be honest. Well, look, it's going to be interesting now to find out how Kate comes in and gets involved in all of this, because, I mean, you say you identified his entrepreneurial flair, and we know from talking to um, Zayn before the programme, he's got a lot of personality mm. there. But as I say, his future could well be dependent, because all these big multinational companies, you know, the Marks and Spencers, the BBCs, whatever it is, all they do is look at that sheet of paper and see what your qualifications yeah. are. Because if you ain't got them, they're not interested. And, and that seems to be it, Kate. I think the problem is there's just one way of teaching in schools. So they go in and it's not for everybody. You're either a theory learner or you're a practical learner. And people like Zane learn practically and not through the theory textbooks. And I think we have to acknowledge that, that not everybody's the same. He's just as clever, and he said his behaviour was really yeah. bad in school, but he's seen the light himself. And in year 11, he went back. Before I even came and the show came and everything else, he went back himself and thought, I've got to knuckle down now, this is me last year. And he did, and that was another thing yeah. that shone through, how hard he was working to try and catch up. He, he recognised his and mistakes. Alongside trying to catch up with your academics, You've, you've had little bits of business going on, haven't you? Tell us yeah. the kind of, you know, because Kate <laughs> said she saw this entrepreneurial spirit in you. So oh. what kind of things were you doing? Oh, well, in year nine, I was selling fidget spinners and those things over trend. Yeah. Got them from a local supplier, I think £2.50 each. So <laughs> I listed them up as £5. And I got them confiscated, I think, within the second day. Okay. And I didn't get them back until a week later. But the head teacher gave them back if I let her buy one. <laughs> so obviously I said, you know what, yeah, you can buy one. So then she bought it for, I think, £3.50. Mm. I still got all my stuff. So you're always buying sweets. You're yeah. taking sweets and then make a profit on those. And... Uh, no, it was more like iPhone cables, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Kit, where I am a great critic of the system, I think I believe in. You know, there was the Blair mantra: education, education, education. What I believe is in education, education. And by that I mean primary education and secondary education. I'm not such an advocate of tertiary education. Yep. And yet that seems to be what lads like Zayn are going to be judged on. If he's got, if he's got the, the basics, the grounding at primary and secondary level, it's not everybody we need to be university educated. Yeah. Why does our society dictate that that's the way it should be? I think everyone th judges you by what's on a piece of paper, what your grades were. And were what you judged done. like that? Yeah, Eamon, totally. I was going to get a job and I had no experience and no qualifications. 
the door was just shut in my face everywhere I went. Um, I had to go and keep knocking on the door and the, in the end, they see me personality and thought, OK. So you think someone like Zayn, even if he doesn't get the grades he wants, his personality would carry him through? Most definitely. I mean, education is really important. We all know that. And as long as you've no, you've tried your best in them exams, then you've got nothing to be sorry for. You were just saying to me before we came in that you'd been yeah. trying to get a summer job. Yeah, I was. <laughs> and how did it go? Uh, I applied to every single place for Indeed. I mean, I was, you can even ask my dad. I was, like, awake till, like, 1am, trying to find jobs and everything, and I got declined by every single one. And do you think that's because you had no experience, no qualifications? Yeah, I think it's because for the CV, I didn't put them in because I, I didn't know yet. Oh, you see, this, it, apparently that just goes into a computer and there's some algorithm or something that you're judged by, which is the nonsense of the whole yeah. um, scenario. What is the relationship we're going to see um, in The Secret Teacher? And this is tonight, 9 o'clock on Channel 4. Yeah. What is the relationship we see between the both of you? I think... Zane reminded me a lot of myself from when I was in school. I got bored, so when I was bored, I'd mess around. It wasn't that I wasn't clever, it was just that they bored me. So I noticed that in Zane as well. Yeah. And I think when I went to Zane's home and met his family and everything else, which was an honour to do as well, I'd become really emotionally attached then as well. And I knew that he was the person I wanted to help. Well, I hope uh, that you are the person everybody wants to follow, Zane, uh, from, from what we see, uh, what happens. Good luck with your exam results yeah. Um, yeah. next week. And uh, keep listening to Kate, because you couldn't have a better mentor there. Yeah, that is very true. Good man, good man. <laughs> and just to think, all those people who've turned you down for those summer jobs, how stupid are they? They're the real stupid ones, oh, aren't yeah, they? Oh, yeah, I know. Isn't it? Because I'm the one that sat on this couch, not them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs>